<laughs> Welcome to Jokes Week with Alia Darby. Why couldn't the skeleton cross the road? Because he didn't have any guts. What kind of shoes do a ghost wear? Boots. Why do witches ride broomsticks? Because vam vacuum cleaners are too heavy. Why didn't Dracula have any friends? Because he was a pain in the neck. What is a ghost's favorite food? Spook Eddie. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day and a great week. See you next time. Welcome back to the music segment. In today's video, I'm going to be reading to you a few of my favorite poems from Shel Silverstein's book, Where the Sidewalk Ends. So let's get started with the first poem. I hope you guys enjoy. This one's called Sick. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry, I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks, I've counted sixteen chicken pox, and there's one more that's seventeen, and don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue, it might be instamatic flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke, I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin, my belly button's caving in. My back is wrenched, my ankle sprained, my appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold, my toes are numb, I have a sliver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak, I can hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth, I think my hair is falling out. My elbows bent, my spine ain't straight, my temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk, I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is, what? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye, I'm going out to play. That was the first one. The second one is called Crocodile's Toothache. This is my sister's favorite. The Crocodile's Toothache. The crocodile went to the dentist and sat down in the chair. And the dentist said, now tell me, sir, why does it hurt and where? The crocodile said, I'll tell you the truth. I have a terrible ache in my tooth. And he opened his jaw so wide, so wide, the dentist, he climbed right inside. And the dentist laughed, oh, isn't this fun, as he pulled the teeth out one by one. And the crocodile cried, you're hurting me so, please put down your pliers and let me go. But the dentist just laughed with a ho, 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 and said, I still have 12 to go. Oops, that's the wrong one. I confess, but what's one crocodile tooth, more or less? Then suddenly the jaws went snap, and the dentist, he was gone, right off the map. And where he went, one could only guess, to north, to south, to east, or to west. He left no forwarding address. But what's one dentist, more or less? This is a picture. One more last poem. This was my favorite poem. So I loved peanut butter when I was younger. So it goes like this. Peanut butter sandwich. That's the name of the poem. I'll sing you a poem of a silly young kink who played with the world at the end of a string. But he only loved one single thing and that was just a peanut butter sandwich. His scepters and his royal gowns, his regal throne and golden crowns were brown and sticky from the mounds of, and drippings from each peanut butter sandwich. His subjects were all silly fools, 
for he had passed a royal rule that all they could eat and learn in school was how to make peanut butter sandwich. He would not eat his sovereign steak, and he scorned his soup and kingly cake. He told his courtly cook to bake an extra sticky peanut butter sandwich. And then one day he took a bite and started chewing with delight, but found his mouth was stuck quite tight from that last bite of peanut butter sandwich. His brother pulled his sister pride. The wizard pushed his mother cried. Oh, my boys committed suicide from eating his last peanut butter sandwich. The dentist came and the royal dock. The royal plumber banged and knocked, but still those jaws stayed tightly locked. Oh, darn that sticky peanut butter sandwich. The Carpenter he tried with pliers, the telephone man tried with wires, the fireman tried with fire, but couldn't melt that peanut butter sandwich. With ropes and pulleys, drills and coil, with steam and lumber, lumbercating oil, for 20 years of tears and, foil and toil, they fought that awful peanut butter sandwich. Then all his royal subjects came. They cooked his jaw with a grap with grappling chains, and pulled both ways with a might with might and main against that stubborn peanut butter sandwich. Each man and woman, girl and boy, put down their plows and pots and toys, and pulled until crack. Oh joy! They broke right through that peanut butter sandwich. A puff of dust, a screech, a squeak. The king's jaw opened with a creak, and then in his voice so faint and weak, the first words that they heard him speak were, how about a peanut butter sandwich? He's obsessed. I didn't love peanut butter sandwich that much. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This is some of my favorite favorite poems in the entire world because they're so funny and yeah thank you for watching see you guys next week